Hi everybody and welcome to morning coffee break. It's cold everyone. It's cold in here but we got to keep the heat. Uh, well the heat's not come on yet because I set it on like in the house. Um, the majority of the house is on uh, it's 65. So that feels really cold at first. You kind of get used to it after a while. But of course in the uh, family room Oh, you've got a like one of those radiator heaters and we've got one also in Logan's room in case he gets cold but um, it works really good and we just keep the living room like blocked off you know we have some a comforter and a sheet in the entrance way to, to keep it to keep the heat in the winter and the cold in the summer so that's the only cheapest way for us to heat this place because it, we got natural gas and it's gone up in the past few years and if you try to heat the whole house to like 70 or something it just it's it's a cost of fortune it really cost a fortune and that old heat old uh, uh heat pump of ours is just so old i'm afraid to push it too hard you know if something happens to it i guess we'd have to buy some space heaters for the rest of the house we already got three of them uh, one in our bedroom and one in logan's room and then that radiator one in the family room but i'd probably get one and put it in here and somewhere at one somewhere else probably the bathroom or something to heat the rest of the house too but that would be expensive too running all on electricity you just can't win really so <laughs> I'm a little stopped up again. I can't get rid of this. I don't know. It's not like a cold. It's just like I have sinus from allergies, but you'd think it would start to calm down a little bit now. I don't know. It's frosted out some out there. Saw some birds out there. I guess there was still some seed. They were eating it off the ground. Um, I'll probably take them some more out there. I like to keep them some when it's colder, especially. Anyway, today's Friday, November 5th. Currently, it's 32. High today's 56. Uh, no chance of rain today. Humidity's 92% right now. There's no wind. Air quality's 53. That's moderate. What you doing, kitty? I just saw her walk by a second ago. But, uh, yeah, it's a cold day. I can tell uh, everything's kind of droopy out there. The turnips and mustard and probably that comet Suna and the kale, they'll kind of be droopy overnight when it's cold. They get that way when it's cold and they get that way when it's hot. They kind of droop. And then as the day goes on, when it gets closer to 50 or whatever, 56, they'll perk up some. Um, we finished off the Jello Julep last night. Oh my goodness, y'all! You need to make this if you've never made it. It's it's fantastic. I mean, if you like Jello type things, but this is more creamy than like Jello. It's not like regular Jello, you know. It's more like a creamier. But here, let me see if I can get this recipe up here, and you can take a, a snapshot. Trying to see if it's, you can read it good. So there it is. If you'd like to, uh, if you'd like to make it, it doesn't have that many ingredients really, to be so good. Okay, I do. Let me get this thing ready. Okay, let's see here. I've been a lot going on. <laughs> um, today there'll be a Dollar Tree walkthrough in the one that had the empty shelves. Um, the mystery is solved of the empty shelves. And then I'll also have a Dollar Tree haul. And in that I talk about what's coming to that Dollar Tree 
okay um, basically I can I can tell you you'll see it but I mean they changed that one you it that two aisles that we saw they changed it that's all the crafts now they've got an expanded craft section specialty crafts <clears throat> so that's what's going in those two the manager was working on it and then so the the aisle that they took the three from you're going to see the dollar tree what's it called dollar dollar plus aisle not not everybody watches this that watches them but i figured i'd let y'all know because it'll be today anyway uh, it, it's a, it's called the dollar plus aisle. Not, at first I thought it was Dollar Tree plus aisle. And no, she said dollar plus aisle. Everything in that, I, I don't know if they're going to have it on both sides of that aisle because the other one still had stuff on it, but it had at least one side of the aisle all the way down in aisle number three that was empty. That's where the crafts were, where they took them and moved them over to the next aisle. And, uh, that's that's where it's going to be and it's going to be she said three dollars and five dollar items i don't guess it'll be anywhere in between like 350 or 375 or whatever she said three dollar and five dollar items in the dollar plus aisle and that should be coming she said they were already starting on it that they were obviously starting on it but she said they in other words i think they've got the stuff to put in it because she said they were working on it and that she said it would all be ready by next week so today's Friday I'm gonna figure about I don't know whether to check Monday she just said next week I'm gonna check you know as soon as uh, as soon as it's there I'm going to uh, do another walkthrough and show everybody the the three and five dollar items so that's going to be very interesting. So I have the Dollar Tree, tree walkthrough today where I show what, what I'm talking about. Now when I was in there filming, I didn't find out about the Dollar Plus aisle until after I was done recording. I talked to the manager for a while. And uh, I'm, I'm not afraid to talk to any manager. I, I worked so many years in the in the grocery business and uh, delivering to stores and restaurants and everything i you know i used to call and get new accounts uh, especially with coca-cola so i didn't ha i don't have any problem whatsoever talking so if you want to find out something it's, it's you know the manager it's up to them obviously what how much information they'll give you but I, uh, this one she was she just told me everything that was going on you know, I just asked, started asking her questions. She was actually checking us out, and I was talking to her the whole time. And she was checking us out, trying to get information. So uh, that's what's going on there, and it's kind of exciting. And they're they're start uh, they've got signs up at the one that was a Dollar General over by our Kroger uh, that it's a pop shelf is coming soon i should have taken a picture of this though the banner they got a couple banners up so that's going on over there that'll be very interesting too a new like a dollar general concept store so i'll definitely you know do walk through there or something uh, when they when they open up um, sometimes i do a slideshow i'll just have to see you know if it's real real busy it's hard to do a to record because you're getting people in it and you know uh, they, I'm sure they'd rather if they think no you're recording they might kind of think they're getting their privacy invaded or something I don't know nobody's ever said a word to me when I was recording before but if it's real busy I kind of usually take pictures you know if it's busy so I don't get so many people in it so the Dollar Tree haul will be the day two from when we went Got some pretty nice stuff. We didn't go crazy. I got some stuff that uh, I'll be 
I already actually did a taste test, but it'll be tomorrow. I've been doing lots of my videos. If I have so many videos, I don't like to send out more than four. I try not to send out four, more than four a day, unless it's a short or a jib jab. But four regular videos is a lot anyway. So I've been, you know, just hold on to them for like the next day. So I've already got today's and tomorrow's. Um, I'll talk about that more tomorrow morning. Uh, what's going on with that? Um, we had Taco Bell last night. Uh, thanks to Diane Parker. Thank you very much for the gift card for my birthday. Uh, we hadn't been in months. I, I don't know how many months, maybe four or five months to Taco Bell. And we love it. We love it. We just don't go out to eat that much. Um, and, uh, so we had, I, I had, uh, it's called the Cantina Crispy, well, I can't hardly read it, Cantina Crispy Melt Taco Box. It was a $5 box, and it was really good. Um, and I had some of their cheesy Fiesta potatoes, and Diane and I were talking, and they used to put, I remember, they used to put uh, chopped up, uh, green onions on them and they don't do that anymore they just have the cheese and some sour cream but they're awesome and uh i had some green onions in here that we use on our salad so i chopped up some of them and put it on mine and those are really good they're really good those potatoes um what's for dinner now this i'll be making a video if i do this today um i'll be making a video of me making a dollar tree pizza uh, tonight all items came from Dollar Tree if y'all remember me showing that in the, in the hall the last hall um, all the everything that to make the pieces come from Dollar Tree and I'll make a video of it but it won't be out till day after tomorrow but I just thought I'd give you a heads up um, cuz sometimes sometimes a lot's going on I just you know I, I don't don't miss an opportunity to make a, a video <laughs> you know so uh, let's do today's tidbits everyone yeah it's too cold to walk around out there this morning it just is uh, this is why Florida is USA's lightning capital Florida is the lightning capital of the US with more people dying from lightning strikes every year than in any other state it also has the highest number of thunder days, 80 to 105 days per year. This is because warm waters surround Florida. It provides enough warm and moist air required for thunderstorms to form. UAE sets record for hottest November day with 103 degrees. Though meteorological winter is just around the corner, UAE started the week with a record November heat when the nation hit 103 degrees. Forecasts show that the heat could intensify in the coming days, increasing the chances of shedding, setting more records. Much of the Middle East is scorching under temperatures that are 11 degrees hotter than normal. And I guess that's a United Arab Emirates is what UAE, I imagine that's what that is. Can lightning clean pollutants in atmosphere? A study led the Penn State University, a study led, it must be, must have meant to say by the Penn State University revealed, they have typos in this sometimes, that lightning can remove atmospheric pollutants from the air. The findings show that lightning storms produce hydroxyl, which is an oxidizing radical it's molecules that can break down gases. The hydroxyl in lightning will react with pollutants like methane, thereby removing it from the air. <laughs> Study supervolcano eruptions can alter global climate. Look at that. Nearly five to ten volcanoes across the globe are capable of causing a super eruption that could have a disastrous effect on the climate. 
According to a study by the University of Geneva and Peking University, Toba Volcano in Sumatra, Indonesia is one such volcano. The volcano currently has 320 km3 of magma inside, which is ready to erupt. Oh, Lord. That's all we need. Protecting sensitive plants from frost. Looks like some lettuce there. Romaine, maybe. Uh, experts at the Ohio State University Extension urged residents to protect their plants from frost. Light freeze, 29 to 32, can kill tender plants, while moderate freeze, 25 to 28, and, and severe freeze, 24 degrees, can cause damage to most garden plants. Plants like tomatoes and peppers can be protected from frost using light fabric or row covers. I, I'm not, I don't think I'm on full with it. I've had such a good year, and I've had so many. I got all kinds of stuff frozen, uh, you know, from it and stuff. I just, you know, it, it is a pain trying to cover it all up. I could probably spot cover some things if I needed to. I mean, there's still peppers growing out there, but I don't know. I don't know if I will. I've got plenty of everything. Uh... Do plants need water during winter? I like that they had something to do with your garden here uh, on this one today. Snowfall cannot provide the water necessary for plants during winter. So without winter watering, plants are at risk of frost damage or death. But they must be watered only when the temperature is above 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Root vegetables like carrots, turnips, beets, cabbage, Greens and onion family plants cope well with cold weather. Yeah, they do. I haven't watered them recently because it's, it rained. I'll have to check them though, maybe this afternoon to see if everything's okay. Why does it feel like winter in November? Because it's cold? Usually November is when the weather turns chilly and it begins to feel like winter. Due to snow accumulation, sub-zero temperatures also become more common in November. Not every November delivers this kind of full-on winter. For instance, November 2020 was mild and mostly snowless, but a warm spell in December can force winter to begin again. Hmm. In 1952, earthquake tsunami hit Russia, parts of U.S. A 9.0 magnitude earthquake hit East Russia and generated a massive tsunami on November 4, 1952. The tsunami brought up 50 feet waves, hit Kamchatka and the Kuril Islands and killed about 10,000 to 15,000 people. Alaska and California also reported high waves. The Hawaiian Islands were severely hit with an estimated 17 million damage. That's a lot in 52, though. That would be way more of a bigger amount now. Uh, November brings more snowstorms to Lake Superior. I like this picture. I love lighthouses. I might use it. I don't know. In upper Midwest and northern plains, November is known for its huge snowstorms due to the contrast in temperatures. During November, there is a strong contrast between warm water on the lake surface and cold air from the north. The warm air rising off Lake Superior can decrease the air pressure in a storm, which in turn increases the wind. And lastly, Chicagoans have a chance to see rare lunar eclipse. A rare lunar eclipse will be 95% visible in Chicago, Illinois on November 19. According to experts, the ellipse, eclipse's partial phase will begin at 1.18 a.m. and end at 4.47 a.m. The maximum eclipse is likely to happen at 3.02 a.m. Usually, the eclipse sighting has a gray, orange, or reddish tone. The Adler Planetarium will broadcast the event live. Well, that'll be the way to watch it, I'm sure. So, if there's clouds or something, it'll mess things up. But... Those are interesting. I've watched something like that before out here uh, many years ago. I don't remember what all it 
what year it was. Okay, everybody, that's it for today's tidbits, and that's going to be it for this morning's coffee break. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Check out these Dollar Tree ones today. You will see what's going on over there. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. God bless.